My name is Marcus the Teenager. At William Henry Harrison High School, I'm considered one of the most popular and well-liked students around. Sign my yearbook? Sign my yearbook? Uh, I spent a lot of money on it. <laughs> Go away! But what I've learned over the years is, popularity's fleeting. To survive, you gotta keep up your game. To be number one, you gotta be better than number two. And so continues my never-ending quest for popularity. Ah, no! My life is ruined! Why do I even bother to set an alarm in the morning? Guys, major problem! Today is show and tell, but I have nothing to bring! Give me anything! Here, have your breakfast. It's good for you. You think the other kids would want to see my breakfast? I meant eat it! Hey, hold or sip. You got any show and tell ideas? Simple. Don't do it. Face it, Marcus. You try too hard to impress people. Remember what happened the last time you went above and beyond for show and tell? I'll have you know that there were zero fatalities that day. I don't know why you keep bringing it up. I'm just looking out for you, Marcus. Sandra, maybe you've lost sight of this since you're in college, but high school is a never-ending limbo of horrible social wrath. People fighting all the time, gossip and rumors spreading like the plague. Couples tie life bonds one day, then break hearts the next. What's one guy gotta do for some peace and harmony? The answer? Short-term schemes for popularity to get me through it all, one day at a time. Aw oh, yeah! Oh no! I monologued for too long! I need something right now! You'll just have to learn the hard way, little brother. Break a leg at show and tell today, Marcus. That's it! Toby, put that down! But teacher, I must share my incredible show and tell project! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Pretty cool, eh? I studied the blade just for you, Linda. Marcus, I bet he's never even owned a blade. Who wants to? Face it, Marcus. You're an unpopular kid. You ought to take a step back and find out why it is that nobody likes you. Wow, Toby. Your sword's so cool. Shut up, I know. I'll say anything to feel your approval. Hey, are you okay? Ignore Toby. He's just... He's right. Unless I prove him wrong. Right now. And now, the greatest show-and-tell project ever. My authentic broken leg. Oh, come on, everyone. He pulls schemes like this every day. If it's real, then explain how you got it. Certainly. I was enjoying a nature walk when suddenly I saw some baby birds about to be eaten by a wolf pack. I knew I had to take action. Let those baby birds go, I shouted. They said, no, because we want to eat it because we want food. Then we duped it out, and one of them bit me. Ouchie magoucha! That's what I said. Then I scared them off into the woods where they died poor and lonely. The baby birds were returned, and a joyous celebration ensued. Everybody look! Tommy's going nuts! <laughs> All right, let's see some ID. Your story didn't even have a sword in it. Sorry, Toby. If over half the room agrees on something, I have to follow. It's my mantra.
does she get away with it, Clark? What's the secret to his recent influx of popularity? You do have a sword, you know. You could just beat him up. I wish. My lawyer says that's considered fatal manslaughter, and he won't back me on that. The world's just pressing down on you, Toby. Admit it, Sandra. Operation Break a Leg was a complete success. Students are pouring out sympathy big time. Marcus, you can't lie about a leg injury. You know how long those take to heal? It's like a day or two, right? It's weeks, months. Oh. Yes, Clark, this is the tactical advantage I've been looking for. You're gonna tattle on him? Tattle? Heh, <laughs> I have a better idea. Oh, woe is me! My arm is broken! Ow! Ow! It hurts so much more than Marcus's cast! Shouldn't we be learning, like, math or something? Ow! Okay, this is getting out of hand. Maybe I'll come clean once all these presentations are over. Ow! It hurts! Please, one like equals one sympathy! The pain is real! The pain is real! Anybody want to sign my eye patch? Okay, this is bad. I only meant for it to be a drop in the bucket. I didn't mean to make the whole bucket full. Hey, is it Thursday? I think a new episode of my show comes out today. Oh wait, it's Monday. My god, it's only Monday? How does the week go by so slow? I- Marcus Middleton, stop daydreaming. I know what you started. Come to the principal's office now! Ooh, Marcus is in trouble! Time for some victory sword slashes! Yeah, 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 yeah! You can't yeah, use your sword yeah, yeah, with your yeah, arms yeah, broken, yeah. Toby. Yeah. I knew that. I knew that the whole time. Marcus, do you remember the oath? The one you forced all the students to take on the first day of school? You violated it! And I have proof! <laughs> Jeremy, play the tape! <laughs> Coming soon to home video. Skip past the preview, Jeremy! Watch this. You were filming the school bathrooms? Not important! You stole school property! Luckily, I've discovered your Achilles heel! Oh no! My cast! You're going to return this TP to the proper facilities right now! Wouldn't you rather, like, have me buy some new- I don't care how nasty or disgusting that used toilet paper is! You're putting it back in the bathroom stall right now! Question 9. Can anybody answer question 9? Okay, that's fine. I guess we'll all just die waiting for someone to answer question 9! I can answer question 9. I don't want your pity, Linda! Look, I can explain. I faked an injury. He confesses. Everyone ostracize Marcus. Everyone, stop! You can't treat a person this way. We could if you'd let us. Listen, I know you're all hurt that Marcus wasn't what he seemed. When Marcus showed up, we were all like, "Wow, a guy in a cast. I love this guy." But why did we react that way? Why did we glorify this person? At the end of the day, he's just like the rest of us, cast or no cast. So instead of shunning him for not being who you wanted, maybe try understanding who he is. Wow, Linda, do you really mean all that? Eh, not really. You're pretty dumb. Be that as it may, my injuries are still 100% sincere! <laughs> what? No! It's real! Come on! I'll let you sign it! Ah! And that's the story of how I saved the day by just being me. Marcus, you were bailed out by a deus ex machina. You didn't act like your true self at all. Oh. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to try a little harder next time. See you next week, kids! Uh -huh.